Hey there everybody, Decaf here with another Blender tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can deal with shading issues that you might encounter. So uh, here is the Boeing 727 model that I'm currently working on. And right here we have uh, a little indent in the fuselage. You can see uh, the back of it right there, that bright piece. Uh, but we have some weird shading issues uh, around it. And you know, it just doesn't look good. We want to fix that up. So what we're going to do here is uh, fix this. And uh, here is a very simple way that we can go ahead and start doing this. First, I'm going to go into the face mode and I'm going to select uh, a bunch of these faces that are right around the area. I'm not going to go too far away because it's just not going to be necessary to go out all that far. So first things first, we're going to separate this out. Uh, now separating these out uh, is going to take a little bit of work because we got to select all the different uh, sections in here. But once we get that, uh, we're going to join them back together as one solid piece here. Now I'm good. Ooh, it look, looks like I got a few other pieces that I didn't mean to get. So let's uh, go ahead and separate these guys out. And we will fix this by doing that. There we go. Can't tell that it was ever missing. Uh, so first things, uh, we want to get rid of this little sharp edge there. Uh, and right there, that is actually just a, uh, a doubles issue where we have two points, uh, two vertices corresponding to the same point. So by selecting both of those with the uh, solid view turned off, W, remove W's, uh, remove doubles, uh, you can see that that took care of the front piece. So now we all we just have to take care of this back piece right there. Remove doubles. And there we go, that solved one part of our problem. So now we can jump right in and deal with this guy. So first things, uh, let's talk about what causes the shading issues. Uh, the shading issue, where we get the weird coloring, comes from a couple of different things. The biggest one is the angle between surfaces. So right here we have basically a 90 degree angle going from uh, this flat surface out here, which is the shell of the fuselage, to this little indent. So what we want to do is separate the entire uh, sides of the indent. So face mode here is extremely helpful to just grab all these guys and separate them out. There we go. We'll separate that. And then we'll further uh, take care of this by separating these guys out because of this angle between the back face and the sides here. That's a 90 degree angle. We don't want that. So we're going to separate that out. Next, we're going to take care of this piece right here. That is just going to cause all sorts of issues if we're not careful. And there we go. All selected, separated out. We're going to leave that as it is right now because it actually doesn't look all that bad right here. Um, might go back in and fine tune it a little bit later, but let's focus on uh, the rest of this. Uh, so what I want to do here is separate out uh, the surface of the fuselage and the, uh, the bottom of the indent here. So these guys I'm going to go ahead and separate out. And now we can uh, deal with this. So uh, first things first, uh, we're going to make sure that we have the set smooth feature on. We can toggle between set solid and set smooth just to make sure we have what we want. Uh, we're going to do that to all of these to make sure that the shading issues try not to uh, permeate through everything. And now we're going to start merging things back together. Um, this is where things can get a little tricky. So first we're going to merge this outside part with the rest of the fuselage. There we go. And we still see some triangle stuff over in here. So to fix that, what we're going to do is start deleting some of these edges here and rebuild the mesh. So we're going to come in here like that and like that. Just really simple uh, things to replace that. And you can see that that pretty much fixed that shading issue there on the surface. So all that we have left is down on the bottom here. So we're going to take care of the vertical part here, the little uh, hard edge 
So we'll just select both of those and hit remove doubles. That helped out a lot. And now that lo all looks pretty good there. Uh, we still have a sharp corner there, but that's a little bit unavoidable. Uh, we'll try to go in and just touch this up by itself. And it doesn't look like that came through, but whatever, it's okay. So that little separate out everything and then put it back together actually fixed a lot of the shading issues that we had there. So let's uh, just finish this off by selecting everything, merging it back together. There we go. There are our shading issues all resolved, and we have a nice looking indent there. So I hope this video was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, there's a lot of trial and error things that you'll want to experiment when you work with the shading. So give it a try. Uh, personally, I find working uh, with the edge mode uh, and just, just selecting edges and deleting and replacing those uh, is one of the easier ways to go about doing it. Um, so if you have any questions, like I said, throw them in the comment section. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can.